Hello friends, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube video series. So in this particular video series, right, we are uh, dedicatedly discussing about AWS and DevOps job opportunities. Yes, of course, uh, we have successfully completed six videos in that. I am getting the very good response from the people. So many of them showing the interest. So as I already communicated in this playlist, right, I'm planning to make somewhere around 10 videos. Okay, this is video number seven. So if anyone missed the past six videos, right, in this video's description, you can see the link of past six videos. Go ahead and have a look on it and enjoy. Okay, before getting to today's videos, right, I am strongly recommending all of you to go and like this video, add your small comment, which motivate me a lot and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you guys. So now uh, we are going to continue the uh, resume preparation part. Of course, yes, we have discussed the roles and responsibility and how to update in the Nakuri. All those things we have discussed in this specific video, right? I'm going to talk about the resume preparation part three. Okay. So give me a sec. Let me open my resume. Fine, guys. So in this resume, I've prepared with six pages. Okay. So first two pages has been discussed in the video number one. And second two pages has been discussed video number two. This is the video number three, by the way. This is the last video for the resume preparation. So in the first video, I've already covered about uh, what is the importance of making the you know uh, content of uh, summary and uh, professional summary and education, previous experience, and which are the companies we worked on, and uh, key skill, important key skill, and certification. Those information has been covered. And the second video of resume preparation, right? I've clearly mentioned about how to put our roles and responsibility on the task we have handled in the project number one. Right now, I'm taking you to the page number five. So here, I'm going to talk about the designation where I was playing a role of senior customer engineer where I worked with the public cloud and DevOps. And moreover, there is a duration between 29 and, uh, sorry, 2016 to 2018. This was the duration where I am part of my team, which has somewhere around 32 members who all belongs to my team. Okay, this was the uh, conditions and the environment which I am part of. All right, so here I'm going to talk about my roles and responsibility in this current project. I'll uh, cover page five and six uh, where I have one more experience as well. Okay, totally in my career, I worked on three different companies. So uh, let's get into this uh, roles and responsibility. And when you are mentioning the previous experience, I'm recommending all of you don't do not mention your client name. That is very confidential to your current organization. So please do not expose your uh, client detail to other people's. Okay. Fine guys, coming to the roles and responsibility. So coming over here, DevOps develop a, a migration approach to move workload from on-premises to other hosting provided to AWS and or and, uh, no, develop a new cloud uh, ready uh, application solution. So literally uh, from the on-premises, right, I've mentioned in such a way, we are migrating our resources to the other uh, cloud provider, not only AWS, other cloud ready application solutions, or as we said, we have migrated to AWS, Azure GCP, it depends on the environment at that time, at that point of time. We have an exposure to work with, uh, you know, uh, move our application towards the multi cloud environment. That was the, you know, uh, environment I part of that organization. Uh, once migration has been done, apart from that, implementing and controlling the flow of data. Uh, to and form of AWS multiple AWS accounts. Basically, our application, whatever we have, and the data, whatever we have, right? We have split across multiple uh, accounts in AWS. Some of the accounts we have it for development, some of the accounts we use for POC, some of the accounts we use for sandbox and production. And that way, we used to categorize our uh, data and the application into multiple AWS accounts. That is our fact. Okay. Selecting the appropriate AWS service based on compute data and security requirement, by the way. So we need to, as you know, as a senior uh, cloud engineer, we supposed to be in a position to identify what is the right service for working with our AWS data and the customer data and security requirement, all those things. We have to take a necessary uh, decision and we need to work accordingly. Okay. Focusing on containerizing and uh, immutable infrastructure, Docker has been core to this experience along with the Docker Swam and ECS, EKS, Kubernetes. To be honest, very limited exposure I have with the Docker Swam. But moto moreover, uh, many of our applications deployed it on top of Docker. Later, we were working with the ECS and the EKS clusters as well. All our Kubernetes cluster, right, which is hosted under the AWS EKS, which play a, a major and a critical role uh, with us. Okay, so many problems we will face. All right, guys. 
so uh, creating docker uh, images using docker file or working on docker container snapshot removing and uh, you know uh, images and managing container volume and experience with the docker container services so we'll get a lots of work in terms of docker we'll work on building docker file and working on containers uh, snapshot and uh, removing the unused images because it's unnecessarily taking a space right and moreover we works on docker volumes and moreover we works with the docker container services this is our day-to-day -day work mostly uh, with the docker okay that is the reason i have mentioned over here automatic provision and you know uh, repetitive task using ansible terraform bash scripting and python so whatever the activity we doing repeatedly right in manual way as much as possible we'll try to automate using ansible or terraform or bash script okay responsible for continuous integration and continuous delivery process implementation using a Jenkins along with the Python and shell script automate routine jobs. Okay, so lots of continuous, you know, integration CI part and continuous delivery process, you know, we use Jenkins inside the Jenkins groovy, right? Internally, we use Python and uh, shell script to manage the routine task. So with the collaboration of all those things, right, we made a pipeline. So that which pushed me to mention over here, uh, develop, manage and uh, operating scalable, highly available and fault tolerant system on AWS. In the AWS, right, we works for, you know, automating environment moreover deployment managing the operating scalable will make sure always the high availability to your application will ensure the fault tolerance to our systems that is our well architecture framework by the way okay uh, develop and execute uh, cloud uh, information security strategy to proactively identify risk and uh, driven management we'll have a uh, monitoring system we'll have auto scaling system when there is a risk or any problem going to occur in the environment right we'll proactively identify that kind of system right remediation plan will have as a handy the ready-made plan is available identifying the appropriate use of aws operational best practices uh, and using a bash and python uh, included boto3 uh, supplement automation provided by ansible and terraform for uh, tasks such as encrypting ebs volume backing ami and scheduling lambda function for routine aws task okay so not only about uh, you know uh, python we include boto3 as a library for automating anything lots of play areas right we use the ansible terraform and uh, the volume whatever you want to encrypt and the ami uh, scheduling lambda function many things right we have automated to that point i have highlighted here estimating aws usage cost and identifying the operational cost for the control mechanism so cost optimization is a key point whenever wherever you go it's important to mention communicates orally in written high level official emails and variety this is for you know general when you go any project uh, communicating everything verbally and over the email that is important work with the application development team and the other system engineer to make improved uh, current infrastructure wow maximum possibility uh, we will propose our client to for fine tuning our infrastructure in the cost perspective security perspective everything set up a best practices for cloud and infrastructure security so we'll have an infrastructure audit and all. Okay, we'll have to pass through that audit. So that way also uh, we used to ensure the best practices in our environment. Okay, fine guys. In our initial company, uh, so I was you know working as a tech lead. Okay, so in the technical lead position, right? I've started my career with the 20, uh, 2013. Uh, not directly a technical technical lead. Okay, uh, when I'm leaving that organization, right after three years, I put off a lead to that uh, uh, environment. Here, right, uh, where we have worked with uh, somewhere around 18 members in the team, the duration, I'm part of the uh, you know, company and the project 2013 to 2016. So here, the roles and responsibilities are all about. This is my first company after my college day. This is my first company. That's what I informed, right? I have mentioned everything in the reverse factor, okay? Requirement analysis, find the feasibility to migrate on from to AWS in terms of cost and security availability. Uh, develop, you know, a migration approach, move workload from on-premise to AWS, okay? Design highly scalable environment using all these services, everything. So uh, that point of time, I worked on Microsoft environment, but I didn't mention much about Microsoft because I'm totally out of the field now. Uh, likewise, when you are mentioning such thing in your profile, right? So make sure whichever the thing which you are not confident, try to avoid that as same like me. Okay. So here I probably mentioned I want, but I uh, you know migrated many items from on-premise to cloud and we have designed the highly scalable and fault tolerance environment using AWS. You know, infrastructure as a service using easy to as EBS volume S3, RDS, ELB, auto scaling, Lambda. So by the help of all those services, right, they have made highly scalable and fault tolerance the environment. Okay. Lighting with technical team ensure successful 
deployment solution coordinating with the customer operations team managing large scale data solution using a aws big data analytics services so moreover you know designed for successful data migration approaches experience in cost analyzing this is very important guys i recommending all of you to mention this point in your in your profile uh, cost analysis uh, cost cutting okay designing backup and disaster recovery uh, architecture that all very much you know crucial implementing uh, monitoring process using cloud watch and sms cloud watch will monitor the resources sms will send the notification so define accessible policies access and ldap centralized authentication CI CD process, ELK maintenance experience. As a technical lead, I was responsible for building a technical competency with the team and throughout the coaching and training. Of course. So overall, this was the project experience. So oh, the reason why I'm not giving much priority to my last, the initial uh, uh, period of time. Right here, I don't work much technically because beginning of our career, right? So I didn't give any much information. So finally, I'm completing my profile with my personal detail. You need to mention your full name, date of birth, your gender. You know your nationality and languages whatever you know okay and the marital status and uh, which location you are belongs to okay so all those information right it's good to share okay by the way it will be fulfilled if they need about your personal information also they can get it from you all right so this is the background guys and for all this uh, roles and responsibility and all this uh, content if anyone need an answer further anyone looking for the practical demonstration or uh, solution step-by-step -step explanation real time project use cases right i have prepared a dedicated video series for you so when you go this is a b 119 batch okay this session right apparently we are taking for somewhere around close to 20000 rupees we are charging for this entire session which contain everything uh, interview data devops video aws everything ready made currently it's available whoever need access to that i can simply go there i can add your email id over there okay in this description i'll mention the whatsapp uh, number you guys can whatsapp me directly my name hari you all know you can directly whatsapp me uh, so you guys anyone need access to that complete video right you can uh, go and get it as i said 20 20 000, something like that but we can negotiate it no problem flat 50 percentage of discount also we are planning to give amount is not a big deal we can negotiate it you can reach out to me on whatsapp my team will give you a call back okay we can discuss it i'll provide you the entire drive access in the throughout the last three years resume series whatever the technology you discussed whatever the roles and responsibility discussed right every solution is in, in, integrated in this particular uh, portion okay uh, fine guys uh, all of you good with the resume preparation in the video number eight right next video i have a suggestion two suggestions from you one is what video you are exactly looking for i have a two uh, two videos which is come in mind i am preparing for the content for that one video is all about uh, salary uh, structure and uh, salary package level in the aws devops engineers as of today that is the video number one and second video right i am planning to make it why we are keep on failing in the interview many people keep attending the interview but they keep on failing in the every interview uh, what is the reason okay i have a two video idea so which videos you want video number one regarding the salary or why we are failing in the interview which video you want in the next kindly mention in the comment section based on your input i will prepare that video okay thank you guys then i can meet you on next video kindly like this video and share with your friends this will really helpful to me and subscribe to my my channel and mention in the comment section this is the support i am expecting from your side please support me i'll put more useful video like that okay thank you guys thanks a lot we'll meet you on next video